Hi all, this is Juliana Aviva. Today is Thursday, 7.30 p.m. in Central Europe and I'm very happy to welcome you back home. So, um, yes, after my virtual concert on weekend in Gorish, I'm safely back home and um, yes, today or tonight we're gonna, um, in this stream, we're gonna uh, have a look on the F major prelude and fugue from book one by Johann Sebastian Bach and then have a look on a wonderful cycle by Franz Schubert, his Momo Musico. Hello Jorge, hello Alex, hi Lars. Yes, so first of all, thank you so much for your great reaction on our virtual concert on Sunday with the Shostakovich premieres. It was really a for me also a wonderful experience and um, of course just to have a chance still to discover new pieces by Shostakovich that was really something very very special so thanks a lot for your great response. Um, Enlice, hello, hello Masako, Maria, hello Landon, good evening, thank you so much for, uh, for your Shostakovich comment hello Stefano, Marto, Marta, Maria, Jose and Tom, David, hi Wesley, uh, again good 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 morning it's again so early in, in Taiwan, hello Philip to uh, Poland, hello Jorty, um, thank you so much for um, hello Kyoko and Mikhail, uh, Jakub, nice to see you, Topol, Marcus, hello everyone, hello Daniel, uh, yes, so I thank you so much for your great support in this um, um, uh, great Shostakovich project and that was my first trip uh, out of my home place since, yes, second week of March. So that was a really very exciting, exciting uh, moment for me and so, but now I'm back, I'm here and it's also, it feels always nice to, to, to be back home. Hello Lydia to, to Greece and hello Joanna to Warsaw and Alexis to Strasbourg um, and to Los Angeles to Susan and to Hawaii to Maria, Christopher. Uh, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Hi Sam to Mexico and hello Marek. So um, uh, Marek, I wish you a swift uh, uh, recovery so that uh, that your eyes are getting better soon. Hello, Edwin. So, a new week, new key, and we have the F, F key today. Um, the F major tonality is, of course, um, yeah, it's actually indeed very pastoral tonality. Uh, later on, of course, thanks to Be Beethoven, but it al already in Bach's uh, Well-Tempered Clavier in Book 1, uh, B, uh, I'm sorry, F uh, key is also gives us a very uh, somehow nature, nature like uh, idyllic character, very beautiful, very peaceful in a way, but also with a very uh, somehow with great um, uh, with great positive energy that something something is growing. So this is uh, this is the key F major for 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 me and uh, basically uh, somehow in the in the music history hello uh, Giovanna to Salerno and hello to Mateusz and to Indonesia to Johannes I know it's early thanks for joining hello Marcia to Dubai um, so the F major uh, is actually I, I did a little for myself I did a little research there are not so many surprising not so many uh, F major pieces later on. Uh, of course, we have the Italian concerto, which is also an F, F major, wonderful, amazing piece. We have two Beethoven symphonies uh, in F major, and actually, the, 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 I think the reason why this tonality uh, used to be a kind of um, um, right, yes, it's a blues key, but still, in the in the in the old music, the Many of wood instruments have their, it's, uh, F is their home key. So that means also uh, instruments like Eng English horn or something, uh, they are, uh, uh, so that's their home key, which is, uh, which means that it's easier, 
easier to uh, to play and many many also um, people in, in, in the countryside were also using these instruments and i think the most brilliant probably uh, example of that is in the third movement um you know this 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 place in the third movement of uh, six but uh, pastoral um, symphony by Beethoven, he uses uh, in the movement uh, which is called, I think in English it says, "Merry Gathering" by um, by country folk. So there is this thing there uh, where the bassoon is playing only three notes. This is what what actually the the, the, the instrument was able to play. So it's. That's a really brilliant uh, moment of um, showing showing that. Uh, hello to Korea, to Alessandra and Stephen. Hello, Maria. Uh, hi, Rolf. Great to see you. Uh, hello, Nancy. So uh, it is um, this, yeah, this uh, very special special uh, character. Also a little bit uh, some folk folk folks music. And um, we have, so coming back, we have actually Brahms' third symphony in F major, but uh, in the 20th century, not so many pieces. The Gershon Piano Concerto, by the way, is in F, so it is, um, yeah, it is a special, uh, special key. Yes, Alexandra, I agree, it's a very positive, very, somehow very, yeah, even in, in a good sense, something, some, some expecting something very, some, some positive event in a way. Uh, hello, Garima. Hi, Marco. Hello, Claudia. Uh, hello, Giovanna. So, um, yes, this set of Prelude and Fugue is also very charming, in my opinion. It is very, very beautiful. Hello, Francesco, to Roman, Annabelle, to Argentina. Uh, so this set is, uh, the prelude is very, actually very, very simple. It has this dancing, simple in the mood. I mean, it has this also in a way like like uh, uh, the uh, E minor fugue. It has something from the invention. Uh, it is in a, still in, already in a very dancing, uh, dancing character. Um, and I will, I will show you. So we have it. We have it in the 16 movements in the right hand. By the way, we also have here this. So we have this. And this movement. Yes, the particular thing in this prelude is uh, the, the quite, quite intensive trills which we have here i will have i will show it to you these are you remember our bach where is it oh, sorry yes now um um he, here yes we have the this this special sign which means that uh, it is uh, the the trill starts with a kind of melodic uh, melodic tone uh, and it should be played on the beat so together with the left hand and the trill should be played quite fast so it's a little bit challenging to be honest and it's also on a modern piano it's quite loud so it's yeah it's not not so not so not so easy but it gives also some i don't know some something very sparkling uh, this trill. <laughs> and this is this is the entire period it's quite short it's only 18 bars but it's yes it's sparkling is probably the right uh word for in my opinion uh, in my opinion, for, for this, it's very, very joyful. And the fugue, uh, the fugue is actually, it has for me even more clear dancing uh, character. And I was thinking if this type of dance reminds me very much on Paspier. Paspier is a French dance, um, which is actually a little bit faster than minuet. It's also, um, it's uh, the, the time signature is 3-8. Uh, and it always starts with an upbeat. So actually, it reminds me very much uh, in a in a in a in a not in a character, but but in the in, yeah in a, in, a, in a dance um, form. The passepied from the, for instance, from the uh, French overture, which is. So passepied always starts with an upbeat, which we also have here. Very, very uh, elegant then, 
sense it's not uh, it doesn't have this i think madison was saying this beautiful sentence that um it doesn't have the heat and anger of jig so it's a little bit more char more comfortable in a way it doesn't have this fire uh but still it's very um yeah also in a very very special very elegant mood but not like a, you know not not too much manner or something it's very very simple very beautiful what i think also very special in this fugue that the coda it has a very long um section from uh, it's actually 17 bars in the eighth of the fugue where there are no subject at all so we have three part fugue uh and uh, th there are not so many subjects coming up actually here so the t this dancing element is somehow from the for me is also very very relevant and the ending of the fugue doesn't have any subject at all so it's only this uh this uh, 16th uh, movement with the 18th in a, in a in a dancing character um in i think it's in this particular subject it's interesting how many possibilities we have for articulation because as you know we have we have no articulation in Bach's score i mean in 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 the ur text so it is um, uh, nothing. Nothing is there. So we have quite many uh, different uh, possibilities. It is possible to play every note uh, like portato, so uh, no articulation within uh, uh, within those eight notes. So this is more or less clear. But also this is possible to play this sixteenth uh, also short. I, uh, to be honest prefer today to play those legato, but the, those first notes it's possible to also to start uh, the subject already with a, with a for me i think it's very important to uh, that we hear the first beat in the subject so if i if i if i if i connect those it doesn't really it's not clear where the first beat is, so that's why I do, I do, I prepare, because this is really obvious when the subject starts. But it's, it's so, uh, yeah, this music, this music gives so much freedom in a way, so it depends on how you, how you feel it, what, uh, what kind of um, character, what kind of articulation uh, uh, you would like to use, and I think this is really uh, something very just special about Bach's music. So now I, I'm very happy to perform for you the F major prelude and fugue from book one, from Leapai Flock and Sebastian Bach. <laughs>
F major prelude and fugue, book one, the positive, nice, um, yeah, very energetic in a, in, a, in, a, in a natural way somehow. It's uh, music and... Yes, it sounds actually so, and it looks in the score, lo also looks quite transparent, you know, it doesn't look so um, black as some other fugues do, but it's not very comfortable to play, to be to be honest, so I was a little bit dealing with, yeah, what, what how to divide the note between the hands, but um, it's absolutely, absolutely uh, lovely. Mike... Oh, thank you so much for mentioning my my left hand. Yes, I think it is very uh, basically what I what I really also now realize even even more that um, uh, this polyphonic style that I mean basically that in one hand we have several uh, sorry several voices uh, which are also within one hand should really be very independent this helps a lot uh, also in other music not also not only in uh, in bach and um, yeah it's i'm very very um, happy that i'm doing this um, this project and it is um, yeah it's a real joy to make some discoveries with it so um another cycle which I, I would be very happy to talk um, to you is Schubert's uh, Musico. Oh, I see a question uh, from Maria about the trills. Uh, well, actually, I think that the, the, the trills, it's very, it's uh, somehow it's, it is very, very difficult to, to work on them. I think it is literally uh, many things depends on the particular piano which you are uh, which you are using, but I think that basically it makes for me what what helps me is to play trills also in different speed, so that it's not only uh, in, not only the shame you are, you're mentioning, but uh, also just trying out several uh, uh, starting really re really with a slower slower trill and also within the trill working with different uh, different speeds so that the freedom in the the, 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 the um, wrist also always remains as free as possible so it's um yeah I hated trills as I was I think I said I told that already <laughs> before that I literally hated all ornamentation um, as a kid because it was always just much too loud but I think with the, also with the practice and once you really imagine with your inner ear the the dynamic uh, and the I think the speed is really also very, very uh, relevant because some uh, in some music we need some slower trills and in some music some uh, some quicker and sometimes it's also a, a combination of different timings within a trill. So uh, I think it de really depends on uh, how you hear it. And finally, the fingers will do what what you imagine. That's how um, uh, how 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 it. I think how that's the best way to. Uh, to manage it. Um, hello to Macau. Um, hello to Italy, Leonardo. Uh, how to relax when we play trill? I think basically it's it's still the same. The, 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 mo the movement, the wrist movement should be as little as possible so that um, so that the, the, there is no tension in the wrist and in the um, yes, in, in, in the hand. So basically it's only the fee very quick finger movement and a very small uh, wrist rotation but in a way without any 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 um, how should I say it? any real weight so that it's still the, the fingers remain very very light but for that they become very uh, very very quick yeah but trills is really <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it's uh, some and so, just sometimes uh, yeah, it, it, they just don't work immediately. So it, you have to be very, very patient about that. <laughs> um, yes, Alexis. Oh, that's wonderful that uh, last year you attended the concert in St. Paul de Vence. That was very, very beautiful, beautiful place. 
uh, thanks a lot for uh, mentioning that hi Robert um, yes <laughs> um, uh, yes inner inner ears that's how I how I explain this uh, the imagination the fantasy the what you imagine what kind of sound what kind of um, yeah sound you imagine and that's what I call inner ears because it's not just those ears but, but these are those which which we have inside and which are actually they have no borders that's why I, I, I say uh, inner inner ears uh, hello здравствуйте Iris спасибо вам so the Schubert Momo Musico this is a wonderful absolutely amazing cycle which is very very special I think um, for many many musicians and also uh, concert goers and uh, music lovers because this cycle is it, it, it has so many pieces which we all know so well and which we also admire and um, if, if I would ask uh, for instance which piece of those six if you would have a chance to take only one which one would you take can you can, can, have you an answer on that because I would I would I don't know what I would do if I could pick only one but however um, the, um, the the cycle yeah consists of six pieces I will go I will have just um, give some illustrations I will give some illustrations to, to, to the music and I will play number two tonight um, and yes I see Daniel is saying the first one in C major Sam is saying uh, number four in C sharp minor two times uh, C sharp minor yeah that's C sharp minor is very very special but however the, the interesting for me the interesting fact was that number three the F minor and uh, the number six the A flat major were composed much earlier than uh, the other four so uh, in 1923, sorry, 1823, 1823, um, Schubert composed the F minor for the Christmas album, which has been published uh, in Vienna. So this piece was included into this uh, album and got the, the title from the publisher Air Rus. Well, I don't know why uh, Rus, but somehow that was the publisher title and the album was such a success that Schubert was asked next year in, in 1824 to compose some more pieces for an, another album so he composed number six well it was not number six by then he composed the A flat major kind of minuet and um, the publisher again gave a name to it which is uh, I'm translating from French some, something like complaint of a troubadour well, obviously Schubert has nothing to do with those cycles. And in 1927, he composed another four and um, proposed them to the publisher. And publisher did uh, the Vienna publisher um, published them in, nine, uh, in 1828 and gave to the entire cycle. He gave the title Momo Musico. And that was somehow also very badly spell spelled. So... <laughs> Uh, the title is not from Schubert himself, but somehow it's it's a very beautiful title. I think it has um, something, yeah. It has something, uh, yeah. That it's it ha that the music happens in one certain moment, and um, yeah, this is this moment is unrepeatable. We cannot repeat this this moment hello Dimitri yes you did you did miss the prelude and fugue but you are just on time for Schubert so um, what I what I was uh, why I came to, to Momo Musico for tonight because recently I read a wonderful quote um, uh, by, by Paul Baduro Skoda who was saying that the first that the first piece the C major piece is a yodeling, um, uh, the motif, the first motif is a yodeling 
uh, on a spring morning in Austrian Alps. And somehow I found that so, this comment, this description so wonderful, it's so beautiful. Again, something pastoral, although not in F major. But this picture somehow is really very charming. It's um, in, a, in a simple, again, simple, positive, beautiful mood. But already here, uh, Schubert somehow, this, this is, I think, a very special element of his music, is those this um, competition between the minor and uh, major key. So we have very, very we have we have the same uh, the same motif in minor, which gives already in this uh, the very first beginning uh, of the piece, it gives us this uncertainty. We don't know what happens. We don't. Actually, the sun is shining, but in the in the, in the, at the same moment, the cloud is, is coming. Or this, you know, this play between the light and dark. It's in Schubert's music is so strong in, 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 in my in my feeling that he is never straightforward. That like like you know, Beethoven is more imperative. So he's 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 making a strong statement which is absolute um, stable. It, he will he will not change it. And Schubert is always a little. It's like swing, you know. It's a yeah, it's a completely different. It's already not 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 this uh, classical era uh, language because those kind of swings, those combinations, uh, those uh, changes, harmo and harmonical also changes. It gives him the possibility to make great modul modulations, like what he does here. So we have in C major already in the in the, in the very in a very short period of time we have we have three tonalities which are very very uh, far away from C major C, C minor, E flat major, G minor before coming back home from C uh, another, another um, description of um, Paul Badura's chord is the cuckoo, cuckoo which I found very um, yeah very positive very very nice the middle section is already because we have those open doors around so it's yeah it's those elements uh, also by the way uh, Schubert was uh, uh, intensively uh, studying Bach's work in uh, 1827 so maybe that's also some, something uh, yeah some, some influence uh, and also in this section which is actually very positive we have in the end of it we have again this minor major uh, change For the different uh, colors in the sound, different shade, you know, some some shadows, some yeah, the light is different. The daylight, the afternoon light, the morning light. So it's all all there in this uh, amazing music. But in, uh, for me personally, it's a kind of trademark of Schubert. Literally, uh, those com uh, those um, 
changes between the major and minor because always in every piece, also in Momo Musico, the, the, there are these elements. And I think they also make Schubert's music very um, recognizable, you know, that it's very easy, uh, makes it easy to, to, to recognize this kind of uncertainty, this unstable, kind of very, it's not stable, it's always uh, going somewhere. Number two is, my, well, I, I admire the A flat uh, major uh, Momo, it's Andantino, it's in a way, it's, it's like a Sicilian, it's in, it's in the A flat. somewhere and after those uh, very dreamy in a way very yeah dreamy character we have already here a flat minor absolutely unprepared it's this is really amazing that there is no preparation it happens absolutely out of nothing it's like a great surprise it's a uh, it's really and even here here we have Absolutely uh, amazing, wonderful uh, music. Then the middle section in F sharp minor. F sharp minor is such a uh, it's the tonality is so far away from the A flat major. It's really look we have. is very very far and how he managed this through this enharmonic change which he really somehow admired in a way because in the end uh, in the end of the first section we have the D flat major which becomes which becomes a dominant chord for the F sharp minor in the way then we have the baccarat It's like a laser, it goes, it goes very quickly to this. Uh, yeah, it's uh, such a great contrast to the A flat major uh, section. And uh, when, when this section, F uh, sharp minor section, appears for the second time, it's already an outcry. It's it's a it's a it's a most dramatic expression. Um, section from the A flat major the the message the expressivity is completely different it's very far away from the dreamy beginning and dreamy end so it's that's Schubert in its in his best I think because this is yeah this is this combination of deepest uh, this is a confrontation that's the better word confrontation of deepest war world emotional worlds and this happens so close uh, to it, yeah, that's just wonderful. The number three is the F minor, F minor Momo, which is very, very famous, probably it is a uh, famous piece, actually, uh, not only from this cycle, and it's a, for me, it's a real uh, masterpiece, because it's, it's very, very short, and actually very simple also in its, uh, the way it's, uh, it's, it's, it's written, but it's, it's so charming. It is, yeah, of course we have this, uh, uh, this accompaniment, it's a kind of, 
also dancing like and with two voices in the right hand which are singing together which are uh, very in a kind of very pleasant uh, pleasant moment um, so it is just very very for me very although uh, in a way very simple composed but also very honest very deep very moving it is uh, I think it's basically very um, special uh, quality of Hubert's music that many of his melodies, many of his motives are really very, uh, very moving. The C sharp minor prelude reminds in a way on Bach, I think, I don't know, the, my, my, my feeling, but of course it's completely different, uh, different um, character. I feel this piece as, as I would be freezing. This is some, some, something very also special in yeah, in, in Schubert's uh, music, of course, uh, I, I feel really as I would, I would be somehow standing in the dark, in the night, during a, a, during a yeah, snow, but it, it's really very... Again, this perpetuum mobile, but somehow for me, I feel this really very, very hopeless, very dark. And again, the big, big contrast for that is the uh, middle section in, in B flat major, not in actually, by the way, not in C sharp uh, major, which is. In So here uh, we have those syncopations and left hand plays in a normal bar, actually in a normal time signature. So it reminds me a little bit of Brahms, that you know this poly, uh, polyrhythmical uh, element, but it makes also this uh, memory, this the feeling of the memory kind of very surreal. So we still some, somewhere we remember, we know that this even this positive feeling we feel now, it's not real, it's, 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 it's not true. So, Some, somehow from another, an, another world again, and coming back to the reality, to the C-sharp uh, minor, which also the ending is so so sad because we have in pianissimo in the coda again this one motif like a hope no there is no hope the number five is in f minor it's the most tra the most tragic the most expressive i mean in the sense of uh, dramatic it's um <laughs> about that in the C um, major Klavierstück, uh, uh, yeah, in the, 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 the oh, Klavierstück is piano piece, yes, um, uh, in the C major that Schubert very rare uses the square phrases, so it's never actually this classical four and four or eight and eight bars, it's more free, so very often he uses six bars or seven bars, so it's uh, indeed, I think it's already, he thought already much further to the future, yes, and was already discovering the new ways for romantic uh, music, for romantic period, for romantic forms, um, but of course still somehow being in some, many things still very classical. So the last piece in A flat major, this minuet, for me, it, to be honest, this is one of the, but I see it of course in the context of the entire cycle. So I, I, if, if I have experienced 
uh, the other um, feelings, the other stories, the messages from the previous pieces, for me, number six is the most tragic. It's very, uh, so actually so dark in a way, although it is... <laughs> Saying goodbye. In a way, like saying goodbye to a dream which you which you have dreamed for so for such a long time. So it's a very painful moment, and um, the. The, 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 even the trio, the trio is again. Gives us a feeling of more, some, some more warmth, but still it is, it's gone. It's, it's from, from the times, from the good times which are gone and they, they're over. They will never come back. And of course, the very ending of the piece is for me, I, I am always speechless uh, for a while after the, uh, when I listen to the piece or when I play it because it's, um, it's absolutely unexpected. Act, well, it's not so unexpected feel, well, knowing this, yeah, this feeling of deep pain and sorrow, but somehow uh, he, he does the same again. change from A flat major to A flat minor through A major. This is absolutely, it's such a surprise. It's a, it's a drama. It's a, uh, yeah, it's very, for me, it's an outcry with, with the strongest, strongest uh, impression, strongest feeling. And yeah, that's true that that's how he is, the, this worlds so close to each other in a very painful and a very yeah very careless very happy well not happy but uh, yeah more positive so now i would like to play for you the number two in a flat major uh well maybe the whole time
with major normal musical number two by Franz Schubert. Yeah, this cycle is somehow um, absolutely unique. Also, also the um, of course the impromptu another uh, piece, and he composed really so many great music. Also, music for um, music for. Uh, I think Analyze was saying that for two uh, four hands, because of course he was more composing also for more intimate uh, music making also with 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 his uh, friends and of course um, yeah the amount of pieces which he he composed uh, within his short life and the quality of this music is absolutely uh, sensational. It is. Uh, such a such a yeah it's somehow very special feeling to play uh schubert and to listen of course also the vocal um cycle oh thank you so much i'm very happy that you enjoyed um that you enjoyed the um the yeah the momo and i see daniel says that he changed his mind um I agree. It's very difficult. It is almost impossible to find the the most loved piece out of this cycle. It is um, well, absolutely um, every piece there is a masterpiece. So thank you so much for joining today. It is a great pleasure to have you all here. And I thank you for your uh, kind respond and for your reaction and I would like to wish you a good week, good time, stay healthy, stay well and we see each other next week. Looking forward to that. Keep well. Bye-bye.